Hello guys, welcome to my channel Skills Pragati. This channel is dedicated for all the new beginners as well as freshers who is just starting their journey as a developer or I can say that who wanted to become a developer but don't know from where to start. So for these people, my channel is going to give you the starting point. Not only the starting point, my channel will give you the step by step way to become a best developer. Now before going into the details about the process by which how you can be a best developer, I wanted to tell you about myself. So who am I and why you should trust on me. So guys, I am Mukesh Ranjan and I am having almost 20 plus years of experience. And in these 20 years, I have been working as a core developer because my area of interest is development and in these 20 years of journey, I have worked for many of the startup as well as many of the Fortune 500 companies and where I have learned mechanics of doing the development which I have acquired through executing multiple projects. So here I am going to share all those experience, what to do, what not to do, all those steps in a step by step manner. So guys this is about me. So now I am going to tell you about how I get inspired to come up with a site or to come up with a channel which is going to help fresher as well as beginners by providing the right guidance to become a good developer and later point of your career you become a good application architect. So guys all these journey started 20 years back when I started my career and I encountered numerous difficulties and to learn any of the concept I have to hop around multiple sites, multiple books and that is very difficult sometime when you are on the job. I was always thinking that I wish I can have a site where I can go and check what are the best ways to do coding, what are the best ways or say correct ways to write a proper code. So all these difficulties given me idea to come up with a site where I can help all the new beginners as well as fresher to make their journey a little bit easy. So guys, this is the inspiration for this site as well as for my channel. Now let's discuss about how you are going to use my channel as well as website. If I come to home page, you will find that a pictorial representation of the idea. So the thought is in the step one, you have to learn the programming base and to learn the programming basics. I have given a exclusive section over here and I am calling it as a step one for developer career path where you will learn about programming basics and I have given a course called learn to code from scratch and in this playlist you will find all the important concepts of development and to teach you about the development I have used python language but the concept which I have used that is applicable to any of the languages so that is your first step now the second step I also wanted that you should go through step by step mastering modern javascript here also i have given you the development do's and don'ts for web programming next you can use other course track suppose if you want you are inclined to a data science career path then you can follow this course track where i have given this course is the same course because it is part of this data science career path once you complete the learn to code from scratch you have to go through the learn data analysis from scratch using python here i have given 11 hours of course which you can use for your data science career path now moving further suppose if you are inclined towards web development career path so you have to follow this track where you will learn about html5 learn css from scratch then the modern javascript which is the same course which you can use it and last you can take the step by step mastering react this will give you a whole perspective for the web development so all these courses will give you the starting point for web development career path now other person who can use my channel suppose if you are experienced developer and you are just starting the spfx development project that also you can learn in this channel here you will get the advanced knowledge about the spfx development you can also use my channel to learn about cloud automation as most of the data is being generated as well as consumed on the cloud 
so we must know about what actually the cloud is and that basic concept i have given in this course called learn aws step by step with three projects this course you can use it to learn about the cloud jargons and to be very honest all the cloud ecosystem are almost same the only difference is each vendor has different naming convention for their products my course is very basic course if you want to know about the cloud and the cloud automation you must go through these courses once you understand the aws i have taken it further for the cloud automation and where i have given a course for aws automation using terraform the reason behind giving this course is that you can use terraform to automate any kind of a cloud automation next i have given the information about scripting scripting is very much required whenever you are starting your career as a developer because scripting is going to help you majorly to automate many of the basic tasks while doing the development so what i mean to say that let's understand with an example suppose if you are a spfx developer and you wanted to quickly generate sharepoint list then with the help of powershell scripting you can easily do that by writing a small functions so in my opinion you must know at least one scripting language so here i have used powershell so you should go through it as well you can also look into other playlist where i have given a step by step kubernetes automation with ansible here i have given the first course where you can learn about a step by step ansible this course is also specific to the person or to the people who wanted to learn about infrastructure as a code you can go through this course i have also given a course for low code no code platform that is power platform developer course in this course i have taken the real time projects for the development i am going to come up with some more courses in this course track so now let's go back to the site and over here i have mentioned that the step 1 is the learn the programming basics and to learn the programming basics i have mentioned that you have to go through these two courses then the next step i am coming with the design principle concepts in my upcoming weekly series where i am going to start discussing about the design principles as well as the design pattern so first i will discuss about solid design principle along with other design principle which is going to be used when we do the actual development of the application this is for the upcoming weeks now once you understand the design principle then my idea would be i am going to give you the idea about different kinds of design patterns where i am going to cover creational design patterns structural design pattern behavioral design patterns as well as applying the design patterns and all these i will give knowledge in a step by step manner so that you become very much confident while writing the code or say while doing the development once you understand the design principle as well as design pattern then we will proceed to the step 4 step 4 is very very important because we are going to apply all the design principle as well as design pattern in a real time projects so if you will look into my learn the programming basics i have given the core concepts of programming language i haven't executed any kind of a application based project like the instagram clone the twitter clone that i haven't given because my thought is i have to first make the basics strong then you will acquire those knowledge automatically so in the step 4 i am going to come up with many of the series where we will develop the real time applications which is specific to the industries like for banking application if you want to develop a banking application what are the things do's and don'ts you have to follow suppose if you want to write an application or develop an application for the insurance company what are the do's and don'ts so all those thing i am going to come up with where you can get the real time experience for the development and for that case i have kept this step as a step 4 because if you are comfortable with the step 1 step 2 and step 3 then you are automatically comfortable with the step 4 now at last once you have executed multiple projects then you will get the experience 
as an application architect and that is the sole purpose of my channel i wanted to make a beginner as an application architect who is going to make the difference in the application development journey so on this note i am stopping over here and i would request that to support my channel you have to subscribe it and like the content which is helping you if you wanted to press the bell icon you can press it this will give you the instant notification whenever i upload the content hold my hand and let's the journey begins bye bye take care